How's it going everybody? My name is jblitz 34 and welcome back to more Pokemon Sun playthrough. We are in the Team Skull Mansion, I believe. Uh, we actually gotta go ahead and uh, look through these things. Um, you don't want to battle me. You don't want to battle me. Damn it. I have to battle you. I don't want to battle you. Just let me go. Let me be. Um, these are all what? Poison type Pokemon? So, boom. Oh no, you have a Haunter. That's actually very good for me because I have a dark type. And unless you have like, not even dazzling gleam. What am I weak to? Fighting, ground, rock. Uh, we'll go for darkest lariat. No, that's the only bad thing about having a silver. Ah, 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 whoa. Uh, not yawning, but, um, it's slow, and we just hurt ourselves. And if he goes for a Nightshade, it's gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, there's a Shadow Ball. We, we resist that, that's good. For us, but not for you, because we snapped out, and you're going down. That's one malicious clothesline. That's actually Lariat, which is a clothesline. Alright. Level 37. Next up, Team Skull has been defeated. Your full course is going way too seasonal. Whatever, whatever. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Okay. Uh, next room. What's this? This month's secret Team Skull password is Tapu Coco. Remember, a true Team Skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. Okay. Ooh, Pokeball. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, hmm. Alright, so I guess there's one, uh, password. And there might be more, because that was just one room. Uh, what about in here? There is a bed. Oh. And a Max Revive. I'll take that. Uh,. No, 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 no. You don't see me. You don't see nothing. Uh, ow. Okay. Uh, beat up. So that's another password. But that one didn't have a note on the bottom. That one didn't have a note on the bottom. So that tells me that must be like something. Can I get behind you? Alright. Now we battle you. There's no way I was going to get around you. So. Team Skull. Next, uh... Oh, you got three Pokemon. Look at you, Mr. Badass. A Zubit. I like that we have, uh... The mansion to protect us from the rain. That means my fire damage doesn't get uh, reduced. And I outspeed. Now just the outspeed even more. There we go. One shot of Zubat. Yeah! What do you got next? Arrow's level 33. Ghastly, we're staying in. I can pretty much just go for a Darkest Lariat here. I shit out the speed. Yeah, one flame charge. And down goes the Ghastly. Next Pokemon, please. I am ready for this. I am not backing down. So, who do you got? Salend it. You know, we're going to go out to Nova. You know why I want to go out to Nova? It's because a Celerock... Let's see. I want to see if Nova is this strong enough to take out a Salandit. Level 35. When a Celerock. No, we're going to go for a Rock Slide. And we don't miss. Down goes a Salandit. So, yes. Nova is very strong. And it's level 35 now. Um, I think Nova is actually going to be our ace here, to be honest. Because, uh, Guzma has Buck-type Pokemon from our last battle. There is actually nothing there, so I didn't even need to battle you. Alright, so we explored all of downstairs. We have upstairs to go. Uh, what's in here? There is a TM! Sludge Bomb! Which is very useless because we are now 
we are all physical attackers. We have no special attackers. Uh, so I'm guessing there is a... Nope, not in there. Oh, please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no wonder it stinks. It is the same design, though. Uh, it does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello, our names are all grunt. What's the point? Okay, yeah, cool. I, that, yeah, that's very creepy. I'm just standing there and just listening to him. Oh, oh, boy, I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. Guess we have to teach him a lesson. Okay. Cool. Great way to introduce a battle. So, we're going to take on this Team Skull member. Has one Pokemon. And it's a Rattata. It's the Mexican Rattata. All right, put it better. Come on out. Let's just go for a Fire Fang. That sh it should one shot this guy, right? Fire Fang. And yes, it does. There we go. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. We just need to get rid of these trainers so that way we can move on with our lives. How embarrassing! I guess I really am just a grunt. Whoa, that was like so uncool. I'll get revenge for you while still wearing your skull tank. Alright, awesome. Cool. I'm I'm not the least bit like worried or scared that I'm gonna lose. Because apparently my pitter patter's been one shotting everything. Actually both Pitter Patter and not Pitter Patter, um Oh wow, you have a Eradicate. So you probably outspeed me? I'm gonna go for a flame charge? Yeah, you outspeed. That's not doing anything to me. You go for a flame charge. This should do a good amount of damage. Unless you have thick fat on. You might, but that doesn't matter because Fire Fang does more damage to flame charge. And now I outspeed. So bye. Are not. Okay. Um... One more flame charge. We'll just take him out like this. And down goes the Raticate. Alright, so this was a useless room because uh, we just ran into two girls who were talking about their clothes. Uh, their tanks. With uh, no password on the ground. And we need that password. We need that password. Alright, cool. Um, uh, her skull tank was too tight for me. It was distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. Yep, useless room. Okay, so what's the final... Oh, this should be it then. It... Is it? Is this the final? No. Am I missing something? There's one more password we need. It wasn't downstairs, because we checked all the rooms. There was two passwords downstairs. There has to be one upstairs. Fomantis? Oh, this is perfect. One flame charge should be able to take it out. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Flame charge this little thing. I almost used you in this let's play, but I decided to go with Serene. Our bouncy. Alright, so Pitter Patter's level didn't level up. Nobody else leveled up. That was a waste of my time. And But there's a Pokeball involved. Is that a Wii U? We got an iron. Is that a Wii U right there? The Wii U gamepad? That is! Wow, Team Skull living it up. Oh, there is. It's right here. Golisopod. I have that Pokemon. I named it Skimpy. Alright, so now that that's taken care of. You know how to battle that guy. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give three secret passwords. Yes. Then tell me this month's, uh, he is beat up. Uh, Galisapod. Um, Tapu Coco. So you think the password... Are you sure about that? Yes. You think I'm that thick skull? Get out of here. Go home. It's not enough. It's a good password. What? Then you should know how Team Skull works. Look around this mansion. Oh! That was with that, that... Answer with the hearty no. Okay. Uh, beat up. Uh, Galisapod and Tapu Coco. 
no. But, uh, you know all master. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's head on out. Oh. Uh, okay. There's a Murkrow right there. How come I can't capture these Murkrows? It'd be nice if I can. But yeah, an escape rope. And that is a great place to put a trainer at. Right there, where we can easily dodge her. Um. You think it was a good idea? Answer inside. So I'm guessing this is where Guzma's at. Let's go ahead and heal up our mons. And I'm actually going to put a... Let's see. If he's, gonna, he's probably going to start off with a Galisa pod. And I think he had a... Um... What you call it? What you call? What you call it? Uh, Ariados and what? What would be his other? I don't know what his other ones would be. But here we go, Guzma, the hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm here for the Pokemon. Oh, young goose? How sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. Aw, oh, look at him. And you came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces. But hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. All right, all right. He challenged me. I'm just gonna say it. He shouldn't have done that. He just lost. Bad idea. Bad idea. All right. Oh, he's only got two. So it, it is gonna be Galisapod and Eridos. So we pretty much just won. Cause Arrow here could just go for a Beak Blast. Level 37. Go for a beat blast. Go for a uh, razor shell. There you go. And you get burned. Thank you. And beat blast. That did a good amount of damage. A good amount of damage. So there's Ariados. We're going to go for a uh, another beat blast. So that way if Ariados hits us. Felsninger. Down we go. But he should get burnt. Yeah! Yes! Attack rules. Wow. Um, drastic. That means it went up three, right? It's pretty much right now he's at one. He's at plus one. A rock slide should be able to take him out. We land it. There we go. Down goes the Ariados. Man, this was nothing. This was supposed to be tough. Uh, we're staying in. I don't need to switch out. Why would I need to switch out? Nova here could take care of them all. So we're going to go for a uh, powerful. We're going to go for a Continental Crush. Don't go for first impression. Alright. Yes. Easy does it. We get to see... No, that was in the last one. <laughs> we get to see Continental Crush. This is absolutely... Whoa, there's a lot of very good uh, Z moves out there. Like, um... The Bug... Bugium Z. That move is pretty good. Uh, which other one? Uh, the Ghostium Z has a good animation too. And pretty much that's it. I mean, each of the starter Pokemon there, they're really cool, but... Ghostium and, uh... Continental Crush, so good. Keyboard moves. Um, Team Skull Boss Guzman's now down. But, but all right, buddy. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid now. All right, just walk to the side. Yeah. Okay, just leave. 
Eh. I like how they like run at an angle and then stop, pause, turn, and then run again. I'm not. I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. All right. Well, we got the bug, bugnium, bugnium, b b b b b b. We got the bug z, which is cool. So now we are done here. I guess we just go back to that kid, and I can't. Can I use an escape rope? Uh, escape rope. I just want to get out of here. Front of the mansion? Oh, sweet. And I can't use Charizard. Dang it. So this sinks. Everybody's all sad now. Can I use it up? Or not. I guess this guy's going to help me. Yeah, there were nothing. Have I got you to thank for this? The thing must have been scared half to death if it's glad to see a wretch like me. Alright. What a lot of hassle. A trial gore, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who's taken on Team Skull. I healed your Pokemon up, so go. Just go. Okay. Though, looking around now, it seems like there are fewer Team Skull folks around here today than usual. Huh. I guess some of them might have run, have run off after seeing their boss got beat. Uncle Nanu! And here comes the noise again. Alright. Oh, I'm so sorry. You must have been so scared, huh? Thanks, Jason. Really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. What else do you stay here for if you're not putting a stop to Team Skull's shenanigans? Eh. The rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull after all. That's what you say, but it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on the Aether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts. But you stay here to look up, up for them? Huh. Come on, Young Goose. Let's go back to Aether House. Alright. I'll come back to see you again soon, Uncle. No one's asking you to. Whoa, what? What a life of the party. Then come by Aether House when you're done. Alola! Alright. Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. That's, uh, this guy's very, uh, very poetic with his words. So, we need to go back down here to the Aether House. Pokemon are healed up. You know what? I should actually put Zabumafu up in front now. Uh, to get a little training going in. Because why not, right? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. He does need the training. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, we'll put Zapumafu. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And before we do anything else, let's actually put the Bug... Buginium Z. On, uh... On our good old friend, Skimpy. Yes. Now everybody's holding a Z crystal. Okay, so let's go ahead, right on Tauros, and go over to the Aether House. So here we are, Route 15. Get in here. We're home, we brought Youngus with us too. QQ. What's going on in here? Jason, I'm sorry, I, I can't even make myself smile right now. But why? What happened? Miss Lily! She's gone! What? Several hours earlier. You people. Not gonna disappear this time, huh? Seems like maybe the te tall tales we heard about you were wrong. That was different. Nebby and I were both in trouble. That was the only reason why I used its powers. So we could both escape with our lives. 
I know that I'm not capable of much myself, but I will not make it use that power again. I'm determined to not let that happen. That's why this time I'll do whatever I can on my own, even if I do find myself in trouble again. Yo, girl, you know you're in trouble right now, right? Dumb, spoiled little princess. It's fine. There's nothing more for us to take from you. Which reminds me. Maybe we're not the only ones around here who could be called Pokemon thieves. Is that what you are, huh? A thief? Please, there is no need to hurt anyone else here. I will go with you willingly, wherever you want. Alright. That Plumeria lady came back as soon as Ace Roll had left. What? I'm supposed to be a trainer, but when it came down to it, Lily had to protect me. Lily, who's not even a trainer to begin with. Did I hear that right? It was Lily who took Cosmog? Yeah, <laughs> you know who Lily is? And you are all so useless and weak that now Cosmog is... Lily is... Ah, uh, I'll show you how angry you make me. What, we're gonna battle? What? Well, I, I guess it's a good thing that I put uh, Zabufu out in front. Well then, he looks very upset. Send out Golbat. Um, maybe it's not a good thing that I put a uh, Zabubufu out in front. Now that I think about it. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna go out into, um, wow, the only one I can really go on to is Pitter Patter. Or, uh, not Pitter Patter, Rigan Nova. Uh, so, we're gonna go for Acrobatics. Oh, that does nothing. That does a bit of damage. Uh, we're gonna go for a Rock Slide here. Nice. Ah, oh, it doesn't one shot. Acrobatics again. Okay. That was a crit. Go for a cell rock. Just in case he wants to try anything funny on us. Get rid of that guy. Okay, so who are you gonna go on to now? Look at that. Nova's level 36. We gotta get our Pokemon up to level 40 already. Le level 31. Level 36. Anyone else? Sneasel! Yeah, we're actually, no, we can stay in. Now we're gonna go on the Skimpy. Let's go on the Skimpy. We can take out Sneasel no problem with first impression. No problem. First impression would take him out easily. Oh, he's got the male one. Uh, first impression. And down goes the Sneasel. Ooh, now this is a predicament. Should I stay in? And go for the Bugium Z. Uh, Bugium Z move. I am. I'm gonna stay in and do the Z move of the bug type variant nature. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Who, which one does more? That one does 175 and that one does 160. We're going with the 175. Crush Claw. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Nah, we could take it. Well, maybe not. Do damage. Come on, Skimpy. Do damage, Skimpy. At least a full force Z move. Savage spin out. This is so awesome. That is so cool. Oh, it doesn't mean take it out all the way. Uh, we're going to go for a leech life then. Uh, this is actually going to really hurt. Wimp at emergency exit. Uh -huh. uh, I guess we'll go on to... Zabumafu? We might be able to outspeed this thing. And go for a nice and powerful low sweep. Nope, he outspeeds and we are done for. Or not. Low sweep. He's not done for, but we did lower his speed. So we should be able to outspeed now. Yeah, look at Zubumbafu doing the work. There we go. Alright, now I guess it's time for some story action. Uh, keep old moves. Team Skull Gladian is defeated. Ha how annoying. Okay. 
Um, that was wrong of me. I shouldn't have dragged you into a meaningless battle like that. But I told you both. I told you that Cosmog will bring disaster to all of Alola. I have to get it back from them. We'll leave from the ferry terminal. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. So the only question is, are you ready to come now or not? Uh... No? I'll wait for you here, near the Lula Ferry Terminal. Don't make me wait too long. <laughs> Aaron Goo was like, what? <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So, let's actually head back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, I know. Shut up, Rotom. I don't care. You're gonna keep. You're gonna keep telling me about it, aren't you? Oh no, no, no. We're good. We're good. So we're actually gonna head back over here, and I think that might be. We'll just follow Gladian to the ferry terminal next time. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, hit that like button for me. Remember, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, make sure you share this uh, video with your friends to make sure that they like Pokemon too. And uh, I guess with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.